I'm doing review, winding up what will quite possibly be one of the last uh, reviews that I do on my pedal board, or at least one of the last two. The last one I'll probably do will be the uh, Dunlop um, Dime Crybaby from Hell pedal, because that's going to take some doing to be able to do that and make it sound good. But today we're going to do, we're going to round out everything with the MXR Carbon Copy analog delay uh it's a very good sound of delay probably i think one of the best sounding delays or at least better sounding delays i've used i did have happened i did actually used to have a Husen ket a Husen kettner uh reflex uh which was their analog tube version of the old echoplex um the old echoplex uh echo units and uh, I thought it sounded really good got it got a lot of bad reviews because it wasn't an echo plex but then you're talking about something that costs like six or eight hundred bucks as opposed to something that costs like fourteen hundred so I mean <laughs> it, it got as close as it could without actually being an echo plex I think in my opinion but I thought it sounded good and I did like the fact that I could get multiple uh, uh, multiple delay settings on it. You know, I could set it almost like I was running two or three delays because you could actually had one, two, and three tape heads. That is the only delay pedal that I have played that I thought sounded better than MXR uh, Carbon Copy. But now I will go on record saying um, I always use two, de two delays. And there was another delay I thought sounded as good. And I do plan on going back and getting that delay. And that is the MXR, I mean the Electro Harmonics uh, memory toy. And I'm going to run a memory toy and a, and a carbon copy together. But for this review, we're just doing the carbon copy. The thing that I think makes the carbon copy special and the thing that made me mention the Replex was because the Replex by using Kettner had uh, the option on it that it kind of added in a chorusing type effect to simulate the kind of warble that you would get when you use tape delay. And that's one of the things that caused the echo plexes and the tape delays to have a, a, a kind of a unique sound to their delay was that little bit of chorusing or warble effect on the delay note. Um, not a lot of companies were offering that option on the delay, on, you know, on the delay. But MXR added the mod switch, which is a, which adds a little modulation, which adds a little chorusing effect uh, that gives you kind of that out of out of tune warble uh, that you got with tape delay. It just makes it sound better. So here's our um, here's our clean. Well, that's not the turn. Look, turn off the thing. You have a regen knob for how much for the regeneration. You have a mix for, of course, your dry versus wet mix ratio, and you have your delay, which should delay, which is your delay time. Your regeneration is going to be your amount of repeats. Your delay time, your delay is going to be the amount, the time of the delay or the speed of the delay. So we're going to start with we're going to let you hear it. I want you to be able to hear how the how it sounds. So I'm going to set it completely. That delay just sets how quick the delay note comes in. Set low, it's like almost right away. Set really high, it's... Region knob sets the amount of uh, repeat. all the way to the left then it's the only dry signal going through so then I can control exactly so set up for just a regular setup then I can set it up for exactly how much delay I want to come through 
We've set the regeneration at around about 9.30. We've set the mix at, I mean, we set the regeneration at about 10 o'clock. we got the mix at about 9 o'clock. We've got the delays set at about 1 o'clock with the modulation off. And it sounds like... effect in which is going to add in that little chorusy warble I was telling you about. It's a very subtle but it's what gives it that it's what gives this delay pedal that kind of sweetness that I like about it. been another gearing review that has been the mxr carbon copy analog delay i think for the money it's one of the better delays that you can get that's out on the market these days especially ones that i consider to be uh pedal board friendly because there are some really cool uh delays that are out there uh, I just don't think that they're, the, the size or the footprint of the pedal is very, very pedal friendly for the musician that actually has to go out and play shows. If you're going to sit it up in a room and leave it, by all means go out and get some of those big, huge, get your big, huge echo, full tone Echoplex reissue or go get you the Replex which takes up from here to here on my pedal board and from there down which is another reason why it's not there anymore. Or, you know, go get you a, a Memory Man um, uh, one of the old school memory mans, which will take up about this much of a chunk of your pedal board, or you can go out and get you a uh, Electro Harmonics memory toy or a MXR carbon copy, and it'll take up about that much space. And for me, as being someone that actually would have to carry my own stuff around with no roadies or anything like that, that much space is about how much I'm trying to occupy on a piece of my pedal board. <laughs> So anyway, as I said before, this is Gil and H2O. That's been Gear in Review. Uh, that's been the Carbon Copy uh, Analog Delay by MXR. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be doing any more pedal reviews here of late, although the theoretically I still have uh, about three pedals on my pedal board to review before I've showed you everything that's on the pedal board uh, that I'm using now. Um, but I definitely, in the next, the, definitely the very next installment that I do will be the first installment of the Tonique series. And I will be working on getting that ready. So I went ahead and did a lot of uh, uh, reviews in a short amount of time because I'll probably be taking a couple, of, at least a week to two weeks to, to fine tune the first uh, installment of the Tonique series. So anyway, be looking for that. I hope you guys watch it. I hope you enjoy it. And as I said in one of my other reviews before, the whole Tonic series, it's going to be geared towards um, younger players uh, to try to uh, to help dispel uh, some of the myths that have been uh, 
been put out by uh, people who work at music stores who don't necessarily have the correct answers or they doubt about anything. And uh, there's been a lot of stuff like that. And over the years, it's just been perpetuated. The first episode I'm going to do is I'm going to take, there is going to be a, a rhyme to the uh, a reason to everything and a rhyme to the reason. It's not just going to be sporadic. But on the first episode, I'm just going to take every bad thing I've ever overheard in a music store or between musicians discussing on how to do something. I'm going to take every bad piece of advice I've ever heard and I'm going to dispel all those right away and then we're going to get deep into some of the other stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, I hope I hope that that's something that works out. I hope it's something uh, it's something I feel is needed. I don't know if people will watch it, but it's definitely something I feel that that is that is needed. I feel like a lot of us, uh, uh, a lot, me and a lot of my friends and stuff that have been playing for a while, there's a lot of misinformation out there that we all know about that we always talk about, and we just assume that everybody else knows it, and they don't, <laughs> and, you know. And uh, uh, I figure this way, maybe we can help uh, get some of the real information out there. But anyway. Uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, check me out next time.